I think we will uh, uh, start uh, rapidly, just not to lose uh, uh, too much time. And uh, I will start, uh, uh, we, we will start together with uh, uh, three slides uh, before calling the different uh, speakers. Uh, the first slide is to thank, first slide please. is to thank the Fondation Le Duc because all speakers uh, in this session are uh, connected with the uh, tr transatlantic network that uh, we have now on small vessel disease. And uh, you can see here the different participants of this uh, uh, network of uh, excellence. And we have the chance to have been uh, selected for this uh, uh, grant. Uh, and uh, all the speakers who will participate to the next session are within this uh, network. And uh, the two uh, directors are Mark Nelson and Andrew Tell from Paris, and other groups are indicated here uh, within this uh, translational network. And now I uh, will give the, my microphone to uh, Leonardo Pantoni. Uh, thank you, Leonardo, for coming here with us who is a great specialist of small vessel disease, and he, he, he has uh, two or three slides for us. Thank you, Hugh. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the room. And while we start this session, I would like to give you just a three couple of slides uh, uh, telling you uh, my story about Cardazil. And um, uh, what I wrote here on the slide is Cardazil 20 years before or how wrong we can be. And what I, I want to tell you is this brief story. This is a, a, the, the title page of a quite well-known review I wrote some 20 years ago with Julio Garcia reporting on uh, uh, clinical abnormalities in patients with leukoriosis. But what I'm interested in showing you is these are the comments to author we got from the referees and uh, at that time, maybe the, one of the, the reviewers is in, is in this room this afternoon. Uh, but the, 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 the nice comment at that time was that we got a comment on Cardazil, and a comment uh, was saying that, uh, the, the referee was saying, I would suggest including a somewhat more detailed discussion of, of the recently described Cardazil syndrome, in particular since this is a dementia-associated leukoencephalopathy and so on so far, um, in the manuscript, the authors only mentioned Cardazil briefly in the future approaches. And what I said at that time was, well, I don't believe this Cardazil thing is a very important thing, but just, you know, to please the, the, the reviewer and to get accepted, uh, the, the story was that indeed we, we published the review with a specific paragraph on Cardazil. And it was very easy actually at that time to review the, the Cardazil literature because just by quoting four or five papers at that time was done. And as you see here, the only genetic uh, paper uh, was that on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, from um, Elisabeth Turniela Serve on the linkage analysis and the paper by Anne Jutel in 1996 was not available at that time. Uh, and so that was the story, and, uh, and just to say how wrong I was 20 years ago, and now 20, 20 years later, I'm deeply involved in Kadazi research, so definitely I was wrong at that time, but I changed my mind. <laughs> so, uh, 